Okay, I'll call to order Committee of the Whole for Tuesday, February 25th. Uh, let the record show that all committee members are present, with the exception of Alderman Smith, uh, who is absent. Uh, item one on our agenda tonight is finance and bills. Uh, everyone should have received a copy of finance and bills in your mailbox. Does anybody have any questions, comments, or concerns on, on that? Okay, seeing none, uh, would someone like to sponsor? I'll sponsor. Sorry, sponsored by Alderman Crawford. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Alderman Doherty. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, finance and bills are approved and will be referred to tonight's regular meeting. Uh, item two is PL 2010 by Alderman Panis to amend the City of Olean Code of Ordinances, Section 24135, to prohibit parking on the north side of Bishop Street for a distance of 141 feet easterly from its intersection uh, with Queen. Alderman Panis? Uh, this was uh, an item brought up by a couple of the constituents in the neighborhood where some issues uh, involving uh, emergency vehicles or, and or school buses turning from Chestnut onto Bishop were an issue. Um, we discussed this in uh, committee and everyone's on board. Okay. Any additional questions or comments on this one? Okay. Alderman Panis, would you like to sponsor? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, is, do I have a second? Second. Second by Alderman Witt. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. 2010 is approved and will be referred to the regular meeting uh, to be held on March 10th. Uh, item 3 is PL 1220 by Mayor Alio to authorize the mayor to submit a grant application to the Federal Emergency Management Agency under its assistance to Firefighters Grant Program for funding associated with the purchase of a brush truck. Uh, Mayor, did you want to add anything to this? We did discuss yeah, we, this. We discussed it in committee. Uh, we also discussed it in fleet. And uh, I think everybody agrees. Uh, if we can get this, it's a pretty good deal. Okay. For about $6,000 of a uh, good deal. Uh, uh, fire vehicle. Yep. Any uh, questions, comments, or concerns on this one? Okay, seeing none, uh, would someone like to sponsor? Sponsored by Alderman Witt. Do I have a second? Okay. Seconded by Alderman pa um, Anastasia. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, 1220 is approved and will be referred to tonight's regular meeting. PL, uh, item 4 is PL 1320 by Mayor Alio to amend the ambulance billing rates in accordance with the schedule provided by the Professional Ambulance Billing, LLC. Uh, once again, this was discussed last week uh, in committee. Mayor, any, anything you'd like to add to this? No, I do not. Okay. Any questions, comments, or concerns on, uh, on this one? So I do have a question, sure. Paul, and, and it's just, um, I guess it's an internal uh, battle, and I, I, I guess I'd like to get the feeling on, on the rest of the council. Um, so what we're looking at is increasing ambulance rates, uh, which have not been, if I'm not mistaken, uh, updated since 2015. Now, the, I, I guess I'm trying to grasp or wrap my arms around how this could not be potentially a undue burden on some of our older residents, um, which are pr really primarily the one, many of which uh, are the ones that take the ambulance services. So I don't know how well it's communicated to elderly uh, residents that, uh, I forget what the expression was, but if you can't pay the bill, they're not turning you into collections. Um, what, is the, what is the term on that? So basically, when the billing rate goes to whatever, let's say my here is only going to pay this, right. and the billing rate is here, right. that gap in between is what's called right off. Right off. Yep. And, and do we know how much we write off every year by any chance? Uh, so just in 2018, we basically, the adjustment schedule was roughly $845,000. The main reason is because we're a high Medicare and Medicaid right. percentage in the city. So those are the right offs in your revenue with 756,000 and Okay. <clears throat> so I guess I just, I, 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 I'm struggling with, with this decision um, for the fact that, I mean, and maybe if we're writing off $845,000, maybe, maybe uh, our constituents realize that, um, you know, 
if they're, chief, if, if we have a Medicare or Medicaid individual who uses the ambulance service, Medi uh, uh, it's covered up to a certain amount. The, the remainder, that, that, that variance, is sent to them in the bill, correct? No. Oh, it's, it's not? It, no, it's uh, what it is, it's called fee schedule adjustment. Yeah. So you don't have certain percentages, <laughs> certain amounts that each insurance will pay for Medicare and Medicaid, and your national two quarter ones, yeah. that you can only collect up to that much, and then the rest is what's called a fee schedule adjustment, and it's basically it's, it's Oh, okay. And then, but you track that just to see what, you know, because when you fill out X, <laughs> you don't collect Y, there's a gap in the middle, and then okay. what's the adjustment? So that gap is not turned around and filled to the individual. Unless the ambulance is being medically not necessary. And there are several. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm better. If, yeah. Yeah. I, I guess I'm, I, my fear was that we're turning around, we're increasing the gap, and we're turning around and sending this increase variance to people on Medicare and Medicaid. Thank you. I'm good. <laughs> I'm sorry if I didn't get that the first time. So the, other right. thing, the other thing, John, is too, is, is uh, <coughs> if, if the reimbursements go up. If our fee schedule, yeah. if we're below that, that's all we can charge is the lower. And so by raising it, if the fee schedules do, do go up, we are going to be eligible to get the increased in the fee. Okay. I, like I said, my, my concern was we're, we're increasing that gap, and, and my understanding was then we turn around and send that <laughs> difference, that bill, to people on Medicare and Medicaid. And I'm thinking, you know, many of these people are on fixed incomes. Are they? And, my grandmother, for example, all right, is on is on Medicare. Uh, she's on Social Security, and she takes an ambulance. She's 97 years old, uh, quite frequently to the hospital because um, she can't walk. So I'm I'm fearful that you know that situation where an increased bill is going to be hitting her uh, her house. But you're saying that that's what we write off. Okay, thank you very much for the clarification. <coughs> I can sleep tonight. I feel better. Okay. Okay. Uh, any other questions or comments on uh, on PL 1320? Okay. Uh, would someone like to sponsor? I'll oh, sponsor. Sponsored by Alderman Doherty. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Alderman Witt. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, 1320 is approved and will be referred to tonight's regular meeting. Uh, I will make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Alderman Witt. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And adjourn. Thank you, Chief. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I'll call to order uh, the regular meeting of the Common Council for Tuesday, February 25th, 2020. Uh, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Witt? Here. Alderman Pattis? Here. Alderman Doty? Here. Alderman Crawford? Here. Alderman Anastasia? Here. Here. Please rise for the invocation. Dear Creator of all, we ask that you look kindly on this gathering tonight. Create us the wisdom to see these issues from their true perspective. Guide our hearts and minds to seek understanding and knowledge to benefit all whom reside in our community. We know in your name we pray. Amen. Okay, reading and correcting and approval, the minutes of the previous regular meeting. The regular meeting of the Olean Common Council was held on, on Tuesday, February 11th, 2020, at 6.55 p.m. Present, Alderman Gonzalez, Alderman Wood, Alderman Panis, Alderman Doring, Alderman Crawford, Alderman Smith, and Alderman Anastasia. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Uh, do I have a second? I'll second. Seconded by Alderman Crawford. All in favor? <coughs> no. Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, uh, minutes are approved. Committee reports and unfinished council business. We have none. Communications from the mayor. Thank you, Paul. I have a, a, uh, a resignation here from uh, uh, Captain Michael Conley uh, from the Fire Department. 
Uh, this letter does inform you that I plan on retiring March 29, 2020. This is, a, this is the last pay period of, of the month. Thank you for your time. Michael P. Conley, Captain. Uh, I also want to uh, uh, extend uh, our condolences to Mike and his family. His mother uh, passed away. Thank you, Bill. Uh, miscellaneous communications. We have none. City official reports. We have none. Proposed legislations and referrals. PL 12.20 by Mayor Elio, referred to Committee of the Whole, Tuesday, February 25th, 2020 by Council President. PL 13.20 by Mayor Elio, referred to Committee of the Whole, Tuesday, February 25th, 2020 by Council President. PL 14-20 by Mayor Elio, referred to regular meeting Tuesday, February 25th, 2020 for resolution by Council President. Okay, uh, before we uh, begin the public comment section, uh, I'd like to first offer a, an opportunity. Anyone on the council would like to make a comment, uh, please do so at this time. Okay, so um, I do have something I'd like to add. Um, I did get a, a letter from Assemblyman uh, Giglio. I'd like to just read it to you guys to, to pass this feedback on from him. Uh, dear uh, uh, Alderman Gonzalez, thank you for your copy of the Resolution 7-20 regarding your request for repeal of the bail reform procedures recently enacted by New York State. Please be assured that I appreciate your concerns about this issue and that I will continue to work to see these changes to the criminal justice system do not put the citizens of New York State in jeopardy. If I may be of further assistance, please let me know. Sincerely, Joseph M. Giglio, member of New York State Assembly. So, just wanted to pass that along as some feedback. Anyone else have any comment? Okay, uh, seeing none, uh, you wanna read the statement? The public comment portion of the Common Council regular meeting established to provide members of the community with the opportunity to publicly state their views, voice their concerns, or to provide input pertaining to any issue affecting city government. Additionally, the mayor, Common Council members, and city department heads encourage any person with questions to contact them at their offices. Okay, that being said, I will open the public comment section. Uh, if anyone would like to make a comment publicly, please uh, approach the podium, state your name and address, and you'll have five minutes. Nick? Nothing? George? Bob Clark? All right. You got to take a knee, Bob. Okay, uh, that being said, I will... Yeah, you guys... Oh, yeah. Anything? Anything? Okay. Uh, okay, that being said, I will close the public comment section and move on to finance and bills. <coughs> the auditor has processed bills and claims against the city of Orlean as per list submitted to each alderman and recommends payment thereof, whereas the auditor has presented to the common council bills and claims against the city of Orlean totaling $1.4 million for the budget and recommends payment thereof. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the same be in or hereby audited and allowed and the auditor is hereby authorized and directed to draw warrants for the payments there, um, there, thereof at the amount set opposite its respective claim. Uh, okay, uh, that being said, uh, any last minute questions or comments on, the, on finance and bills? Okay, will the clerk please call roll? Alderman Witt? Yes. Alderman Pants? Yes. Alderman um, Doty? Yes. <coughs> Alderman Crawford? Yes. Alderman Estesia? Yes. And Alderman Gonzalez? Yes. Motion carries 6 to 0. Okay. Uh, resolutions. Resolution 14 20, PL 12 20, by Alderman Witt, seconded by Alderman Anastasia, to authorize the mayor to submit a grant application to the Federal Emergency Management Agency under its Assistance with Firefighters Grant program for funding associated with the purchase of a brush truck. Okay, uh, obviously we've discussed this in committee and in committee of the whole. Any further questions or comments? Seeing none, will the clerk please call roll? Alderman Witt? Yes. Alderman Tannis? Yes. Alderman Doty? Yes. Alderman Crawford? Yes. 
Alderman Anastasia? Yes. And Alderman Gonzalez? Yes. Motion carries 6 to 0. Resolution 15 20, PL 13 20, by Alderman Bodie, seconded by Alderman Wick, to amend ambulance billing rate in accordance with the schedule provided by Professional Ambulance Billing LLC. Uh, okay, uh, discussed in, like, once again, discussed in committee and in committee of the whole. Any uh, further questions or comments? Okay, seeing none, will the clerk please call roll? Alderman Wick? Yes. Alderman Panis? Yes. Alderman Dory? Yes. Alderman Crawford? Yes. Alderman Anastasia? Yes. And Alderman Gonzalez? Yes. Motion carries 6 to 0. Resolution 16 20, PL 14 20, to authorize a one year leave of absence for employee number 105250, Uganda sponsor. Okay, so um, obviously we discussed this in. Uh, this has been discussed previously. Does, does anybody have any questions or comments uh, on, on this issue? Okay, uh, seeing none, I will sponsor. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Alderman Crawford. Uh, will the clerk please call roll? Alderman Witt? Yes. Alderman Panis? Yes. Alderman Dory? Yes. Alderman Crawford? Yes. Alderman Anastasia? Yes. And Alderman Gonzalez? Yes. Uh, I will make a motion to adjourn. Uh, do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Alderman Doherty. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed?